Hellbilly. The best way to get the tokens that I'm going to talk about in this 10-minute rant is to play the showdown. There are two to three showdowns going down most of the time. Um, one is a purple one. One is a red one. The red one is one that's coming up in a few days. And then as a blue one, the blue one has been popping up on the top left-hand side of the map. That one is generally for this um, race across America thing that's been going down. For the most part, win or lose, you will have the opportunity to collect tokens and basically get what you need to actually play the game. So as you can see, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm loading up my car, advertisement, I'm loading up my car, and once my car is loaded up, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go back real quick, go back in there. So when you get to the showdown, the most important thing to remember is every single time you race the game, it's calculating. While it's calculating, every 10 races, they're gonna give you something just for playing the game. This is particip participation prize or just for playing. The great part is they're giving you those tokens that I'm gonna talk about in this video. The green, the red, you're gonna be able to collect those. The downside is um, you get more if you can rank up higher. In other words, if you have a more powerful car that is higher up in a lead or whatever, you can actually beat some of these guys and get some really good points. I can generally get 1,300 to 1,400 points, sometimes 1,400 points. So it doesn't really help me that much because there's other people out there that's willing to pay money. I ain't going to do that. So for the most part, I'll make it to maybe 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, and I'll be able to collect 500 of the green, 50 of the blue, um, 50 of the red. And you can see over time, I'm going to actually get enough to equip my characters, my cars, the catch is you must only upgrade cars that you need upgraded. Don't do it because you think the car is cool. I've done it before and it's a bad mistake. No one needs a Mitsubishi Elite car. Anyway, um, let's go up to the north real quick. Boom. Same thing here. This is the one that's coming up. Um, it hasn't started yet, but the first five, you're going to get something. Later on, in the 30th race, you're going to get 400 gold. In the 50th race, this is win or lose. You're going to get um, 500, and it just keeps on going. At the very, very end, if you race 500 times, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to do that, you will get six of the gold tokens. I don't know where I don't know where I got my first tokens from. I just got fifty of them out of out of blue. I don't I don't I don't know. But for the most part, um, that's how you play showdown. And um, this video goes into a little bit more detail. I actually expand um, one of my cars so that you can see what it actually looks and feels like when you play the game. Hell, Billy, I'm gonna put this video on. YouTube, and I'm also going to put it on TikTok. So hopefully you can check it out there. I'm going to use wide format instead of the usual vertical for TikTok. So those TikTok guys, screw them. Here's the thing. I play the game because I love cars. I love cars. And now I'm at the end of um, life for the game, which is you either manage a team or you stop playing. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to synchronize this and it's going to happen in three, two, one. So now you are looking at what I am looking at on the screen. I'm just going to put it over here on the corner. Um, the great part is now you can see one of my cars. This is my favorite car. Uh, one of my favorite cars because I love the color scheme. But never mind that. This is the map. When it comes to the map, um, a little bit on the left hand side, Generally, right beneath Daily Battle and right next to, what is that, Tier 4, and this little section here, there's usually a place to collect green tokens um, for your elite car building. One of the reasons why I wanted to show you the car that I like the most, this car here, is because I put a lot of effort into it. So I'm going to hit the Elite button, top middle of the page, and you can see... This is where you can get those green tokens, the um, blue tokens, the red tokens, and even the gold tokens, and apply that to make more stars. 
This is a new feature that is in the game, and it's the first time that we're given the ability to increase the star rating on any of the CSR games. I played since CSR 1, and it's nice that they gave us a lot of functionality here. It's nice that they gave us the ability to change wheels and everything else. That is something that was never in CSR 1. CSR 2, it definitely has it. So what I'm going to do, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to show this to you, is I'm going to go to another one of my cars. I've got a Cobra. It's way over here on the right-hand side. Where is it? Nope, it's a Lamborghini. I've got a Cobra here somewhere. Somewhere there's a Cobra. I, uh, I apologize. I could have organized this a little bit better. But my Cobra, Shelby Cobra, there it is right there, tier three. My Shelby Cobra has no elite ranking at all. It is at zero. And because it's at zero, what I can do is swing over here, hit that button, the, the annoying button that keeps popping down saying elite, elite, elite. Hate that thing. But it tells you on the left-hand side, hey, this is some info about how this actually works. This is basically the exact same thing that I'm telling you. Um, the green ones are very easy to get. Blue ones are a little bit on the tough side to get. Just by playing the game, you will get some of these green and um, blue tokens. The red tokens, they're a little bit on the um, tougher side, and you will have to do some gameplay, or um, as a group, we will eventually get some of those um, given to us. And then finally... The gold ones, those, I don't know how the heck I got the first 50. I had to use in-game tokens, um, these coupons, to actually buy the other 20 that I needed to make 75. This is for another car. But let me show you how you do this. For the most part, um, I've got, I need 10 so I can release or open up the capability to make additional paints. So I'm adding that right now. There we go. I always hit... Maybe later, show me later, because I don't really care. I don't want you to, I don't want to be brought out of the system. I want to continue to spin my green tokens. So what I'm doing now is, now they want 25 for the ability for me to customize my rims. It won't give me all the rims at one point, but it will give me some of the rims so that I can put on the BBS wheels. Because if you haven't noticed, this guy right here, the one that's CF Gamble or Don Nuka, however I'm appearing on your screen, I like BBS wheels. BBS wheels go great with everything. You can put it on a Volkswagen Beetle. You can put it on a Mazda RX-7. You can put anything. BBS wheels with the web looks great. Let me focus. So the next one is liveries. The liveries is basically paint jobs because you're very limited in what you get at first, but now I have the ability to add more exotic paints. The next one is the calipers. 50 for the calipers. This is not costing a lot of money. In-game currency, it's not a lot. Again, I hit maybe later. But now, this is where they shank you. Hang on. Woo! This is where they shank you a little bit. 60 plus 5. I'm like, okay, that's not too bad. But now I've opened up new slots. These new slots, and it does bring me out of the game a little bit, but these new slots give me the ability to come over here. Now I have a brand new slot that was not open before, but now it is open. And let me show you something else. If I go over to, I'm still in the stage four, I'm still on the Cobra. If I click here, it tells me I need to increase my elite level to 35 just so I can get this blue slot. Oops. Just so I can get this blue slot to open up. So this is the game letting you know that, hey, in order, it's like an if and statement in, in programming. If you want to do this, you got to do that first. Just one of those things. So the next thing is I'm going to go back because I think I can continue to raise the level in my elite stuff. So now for more paints, because remember we have a few paints. Now we have even more paints for 90 uh, green coins. It's getting expensive, man. Woo! Getting expensive, man. More liveries. Remember before I told you, hey, you're getting some paints. You're not getting all the paints. We're adding more paints to it. And now I'm giving the ability to add more fusion slots for 150. This is eating into my currency. But that's okay. You're on my team. I care about you. It's not about me. It's us. We're together. Like, you know, Morse Toes. By the way, Morse Toes, tough ombre. Okay? 
he or she whoops my tail way too much. It's painful. So now the next thing is license plate. With this, I'm given the ability to change my license plate. I like that. I like to put gamble on the back of my license plate. It's me. It's what I like to do. Now, the next one, and this is how you get more um, rarity stars. This is the meat and potatoes of everything. If you don't add, if you don't get past 10, you're not adding stars. In order to do this here, I need 240 plus I need 10, 10 of those blue um, chips. I ain't got enough to make this happen. If I hit the button over here, the game will tell you, hey, for 50, I can give you 100. The problem with that is if you did do 50, the next time it's going to say, I'll do the same thing for you for 100 gold instead of 50 gold. So it, this adds up. This is not something you want to do too much of. If you're at the edge, yeah. If you got got pressure, you've got a little bit of anxiety going on, do it. But remember, you can always come back to this game tomorrow. It's not about you trying to outperform anybody on the team, except for Moist Toes. It's all about just trying to have some fun. That's the reason why I only kick out people for um, activating wild cards and not playing the game at all. Because if you're not playing, somebody else should be playing. I'm just saying. Um, and also, watch out for P. Moss. P. Moss is pretty tough, too. That guy is a tough cookie. And whoever that other dude is, just to be here, oh, my God. Him, Khan, all of these guys. They're, like, on my tail all the time. All I want to do is put my car in slot number one and put the Range Rover over there, which is a weak car. I put it over there just for the fun of it because I like the Rover. It's nice. Never buy a Rover. It's, it's so not worth the money. I didn't buy it. I thought about it. I was I was this close. Don't buy the Rover. It's so not worth the money. I hope this helps you. Um, and now I am opening up the message board, and you can clearly see, hey, um, Don Nuka has reached Elite 5 in the Cobra 427. So as a team, we can see you ranking up. We can see that you are, you know, working on it and stuff. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, enjoy the game. We have time. This is a game that's supposed to be uh, played in the in-betweenness of life. Enjoy what you have.